What's up, everyone? Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to Sam and Jaren. I'm Jaren. This is Sam. You already know. So today, what we're doing is we're going up to Red Deer, and we're getting this old half-ton truck, and we are just going to thrash it. It's a 19... Well, you'll see it. You'll see it. Hey, just kick my cat, you dummy. <laughs> Sorry. So in this video, comment below of what you want us to do to this truck so that in the upcoming videos we can actually do it. And maybe even throw some NOS through the old small block Chevy. I'm just gonna hook up the trailer and head out. He's the supervisor. So yesterday I was out snowboarding, hooked a double cork off the XL and broke my arm. Definitely not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was standing on top of the lift looking at the view and some guy came ripping from farther up the mountain. He ran into me so hard and I, we don't know if my arm's broken yet or not. I don't think it is, but it hurt. So I can't grab anything right now because he's a gimp. So for the last few days here as well, it's been pretty foggy and rainy and snowing. So the roads are subpar. It might be a little bit hairy on the roads as well. All right, gonna hook the trailer up. Last little clippy thing and we're ready to go. When we took the trailer, I almost knocked the propane tank off. It's a little stand. So dad had to re-put it on there. Jaren, uh, Safety on my coffee. Spilled as I tried to buckle up Sam because he can't do it himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gimp. All right, we're on our way to Red Deer. We're just coming up to Didsbury now. And then, uh, yeah, there's not really much exciting going on in between here and Red Deer, so. We'll spin back to you when we uh, get there. Arrived. It's right there. It's... Oh, that's the truck right there. Yeah. No more work. business calls. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. Don't want to hear grinding gears when you aren't moving. Here it is. Got the pink bow tie on there. Got the lights in the back. You can see all the people you're passing. Got these nice little tires here. Even says, I love mom and dad on it. Chevy Long Rider. Just the regular old kind of maroon interior, standard on these trucks. The interior's actually in like mint condition, dude. Not, not for long. It's perfect. This is exactly what we need. Dude, the window thing, that's a nice window. What? The window's nice. You're gonna bag this thing. Like dude, bag it. Will slam it. Eventually we're gonna blow it up. We'll start throwing stuff through the motor and this and that. So stay tuned. We're gonna call this bad boy Scotty because it's a Scott Dale. Scotty the truck, our first victim. Come. Scotty, that's a good name. Starting it up. <laughs> it sounds pretty good. Got the Kenworth lights on the front here. Woo. So, got the truck. Bill of sale, baby. Ready to rip. I gotta say I'm a little bit sad because the uh, interior is is in mint condition. There's not any rips in the seat. The dash has no cracks. Hey, you should pop the hood. Show them what's under this beast. 305 with the fuel injection. Cool. There's something leaking there, but yeah, this thing isn't gonna be running for too much longer, I don't think. Giddy up. Okay. There we go. I'm a gimp, so he's doing all the, the heavy lifting. Yeah, Jaren. Do you need Sam to help you? Dude, no, just push down on this. Big boss. Happy little Jaren. Look at his pink nose. I was Rudolph when I was a little kid in the sweet way. Yeah. It's a cool little truck, that's for sure. Turn a little bit. This one isn't moving, but I just don't like how close you are to the edge of the trailer. Just get a gunner on there, bro. How's it looking? We're looking good. Got to tap that side. One more strap on the front. And we are out of here. And we're getting donuts because last time we didn't get donuts. There's a donut shop I've always wanted to go to here. The old mill or whatever. Yep. We're gonna get some donuts. We'll spin back to you at the donut mill. We're at the donut mill. Donuts steal our truck while we're in the donut mill. 
you know anything about Alberta, Red Deer is the place you don't want to move because lots of drugs here, lots of oil rig pigs, and just lots of depression all around. There's a big prison not too far from here either. So you don't want to pitch up pig. You're not supposed to pick up hitchhikers, I know that much. Don't pick up hitchhikers unless you're in a big diesel truck with a shotgun. <laughs> Jaren has to take a take a wee wee. In with the coffee, in with the water. Out with the coffee, out with the water. This is an eggnog donut, the monthly special. Four His dollars. bank account is hurting because he likes these things and they're way too much money. That's four bucks. I need to start a sausage roll business because whoever's making these is making bank. All right, we'll spin back to you soon. We're down at the donut mill and where are we heading now, Jern? Oh, can't do a 360 with my hand. We're going to Princess Auto because we're going to make Scotty here roll some fat coal. Make a Duramax look like a joke. It's gonna be sick. We looked it up on Google right now. And I think we'll be able to look cool and roll coal. All right, we're here, let's go. Princess Auto. Okay. Sam told me to grab the cash, but I don't even know where the cash is. You can't see how much cash we have. We're grinding. We are grinding that cheddar. <laughs> Grinding cheddar. Turning one big block into lots of little chunks. Here we are, Princess Auto. Okay, so we're heading over to Surplus. This store literally has everything. Okay, so we got to the fuel pumps and they are over our budget. Yo, there's a jet pump. This is a pump. It says gear motor. No, it's a pump. <laughs> Bilge pump, fully submersible. For aquariums, fountains, boats, and small block Chevys. Perfect for us. Diesel conversion, done. So we have our hose now. Does it fit? It fits. Perfect. Big switch for a big diesel. And we're back. Sorry, our battery died when we were Princess Auto. Can't we, help it. Yeah, we got all the diesel swap stuff for under 50 bucks. It was actually 47.83, and we'll show you how to convert your gas to a diesel. Exactly. So we're gonna drive back to Didsbury and now you know you don't want to see that, so we'll catch you later. Spin back to you soon. I don't know. Ladies, you can't have Sam, he's already married. Yep. Also, I need to clarify I am dating someone just so you guys know. Megan got a little buttered over it, understandably, so I'm sorry. I don't even want to put this in the video because I just look like a dick. I probably won't put it in. This feels so weird. All right, Sam, don't roll it. But hey, technically this is like a six passenger, uh, a six door Ford now. For you who don't know what a thumbnail is, that's the little icon that you clicked on to watch this video. All right, so we're ready to go. Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> it's even got an SCT diesel tuner for our diesel tune. Rip it. What has he got? <laughs> Sam's turn to drive the old whip. Be responsible, kids. Things are about to get rowdy. Several layer die. First thing we're gonna do here is hit the rev limiter. Jaren's gonna drive her home and then we're gonna start the diesel conversion. Why are you worried? Huh? What are you worried about? The chunks. Oh. <laughs> ah, so I just. Because those big chunks are just gonna fall right in. It'll be okay. The Duramax. 
Let's go. <laughs> well, we just drilled a hole here. Oh <laughs> shit! There's a bunch, <laughs> bunch of metal shavings in. <laughs> All right. You want to take your uh, fuel line here, undo the zip ties, ultra fast. So we got it in here. We're gonna see if it'll still start with the metal shavings and everything. And we're good. So this is what we're doing. So the hose works, it runs, it creates its own suction. Sam's going to pour the oil into the hose while I start it. And your guys' point of view is gonna be at the exhaust to see if it actually rolls coal or not. So, there's the smoke. Like Happy that. birthday, Greta. <laughs> Happy birthday, Greta. <laughs> so the current problem is, is that it's blowing kind of white smoke. The problem is, is there's, there's not enough oil going through there. And, like it's not sucking. Like if we actually get like pushing oil in there, yeah, then it'll start like belching out smoke. Well, and we also need it to be, we want it to be black like coal. So either we'll use food coloring or we'll try diesel first. Doing it. smoking black but it sure is smoking white thick though it's thick it's thick white cloud <laughs> so I was gonna figure out to get it black that's coming out thick look at all this smoke <laughs> we're making clouds Your dad's gonna hate us <laughs> no nah, that'll be fine it's gonna run like crap when we're riding though so first part done diesel swap this is gonna be the end Sam has a Christmas dinner I have a 45 minute drive, I'm gonna go take care of some horses, chickens, and some three dogs, and some kitties. Kitties? Yeah, we got cats too. So we're just gonna have to plug that hole up so nothing falls down there, and next video will be us uh, trying to figure out how to get this thing to roll like serious coal. So we'll, we'll, get, a, we'll get a sticker that says Prius Killer. So make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching. Sorry if it wasn't super entertaining, we're trying our best. And when in doubt, pray to God and read your Bible. Exactly. Make sure you always remember that. Jesus should be the center of your life because if you aren't living for Jesus, you don't have any meaning in your life. And think about it for a second there. What are you living for?